like to think that the fact that, that there's a certain amount of spectacle and visual splendor that goes along with superhero movies makes it worth people's uh, time to drive out and see something on the big screen. Um, and I think it's the characters. I think the characters are relatable to audiences. I think people, everybody likes to see a flawed hero try to overcome their flaw. I'd like to think, you know, uh, that, uh, that as long as we keep surprising audiences, as long as we keep uh, sort of taking chances and, and evolving our characters in our movies so that they can't quite uh, pin us down or they can't quite uh, 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 tell where we're going to go next, that, uh, that uh, uh, we'll keep the audiences engaged. <laughs> They seem to, uh, you know, certainly be at the forefront of sort of a lot of pop culture and, and, you know, what kids are talking about and what have you anyway. So until that becomes, you know, it becomes irrelevant, then we'll be on to something else. But at the moment, it's it's great to be in amongst. You know, wave of culture is a fad. It's, it's going to end at some point. Um, uh, and it's there are market forces driving this stuff as well as, as cultural forces. I, I don't think we're anywhere near the end of it yet. The Marvel Universe seems to still be expanding. Um, other competing um, franchises are, are revving up to try and you know, meet it and, and rise to the occasion. There is a, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's an infinite amount of expansion that we can do, but if you look at the comics, um, they've been telling a story a month for 50 years or so. Um, so there are a lot of stories that we can tell, and there are a lot of avenues that we can go.